I'm Mari Jazz. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the infamous skins and my unpopular and popular opinion. If you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment down below, and turn on your post notification. So now we're going to talk about the background of Kim Kardashian. As a worldwide celebrity, Kim has been the focus of tabloid coverage, paparazzi attention, and adoration from her fans since her rise to fame in 2007, and has become one of the most recognizable and influential celebrities in the world. Kim's career began in the early 2000s as part of the pop culture phenomenon, The Simple Life, a reality show alongside friend Paris Hilton. However, it wasn't until 2007 that Kim truly established herself as a star with the launch of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. This hit reality show chronologued the life of Kim and her family and propelled them into the celebrity stratosphere. In addition to television, Kim has gone on to become an icon in the fashion world, designing her own clothing line and appearing on countless magazine covers. She has also become a force in the beauty industry, launching her own makeup line, KKW Beauty, which quickly became a runaway success. Kim is also known as an advocate for multiple causes. She often uses her platform to speak out about social justice issues and to promote organizations she believes in. In 2021, she announced her role as ambassador for the American Civil Liberties Union and has spoken out about issues ranging from police brutality to immigration reform. She has also released several digital initiatives, including her website, KimKardashianWest.com, which contains everything from career advice to fashion tips from Kim herself. So now we're going to talk about the her background as a businesswoman. We're going to do more in-depth about that. Okay, so as a businesswoman, Kim has launched a number of successful businesses, such as skincare line, a range of fragrances, and numerous collaborations with other brands. Kim began her accent to business mogul status when she posed for the cover of Playboy in 2007. This appeared to be the start of what be of what will become a jerker knot within the entertainment industry and a platform for Kim to develop her own brand. From here, Kim leveraged her exposure in the media to sign a number of endorsement deals, which companies such as Skechers, Cars Jr., and Midori, this allowed her to put her name to the company's products and increase her profit margins. Kim then used the money she had earned to launch her own product line, beginning with her fragrance line in 2009. This was followed by her clothing line, Kardashian Collection, in 2010, which she created with her sisters, Courtney and Chloe. The range was designed with the modern woman in mind and it sold out within an hour. Not wanting to rest on her laurels, Kim then launched her business, Shoe Dazzle, in 2009. This allowed users to make monthly payments for shoes and other fashion accessories of their choice. It was an immediate success and quickly became one of the leading e-commerce sites in the United States. Okay. However, it was Kim's involvement in the mobile app industry that cemented her status as a businesswoman. In 2014, Kim and her sisters launched a mobile app called Kim Kardashian Hollywood. The app allowed users to customize their avatar and compete against other players. It smashed records by becoming the most downloaded app on 2014 with over 28 million downloads in less than six weeks. Kim has also had success in the realm of social media. She's one of the most followed celebrities on Instagram with over 100, well now she has over 300 million followers. And she continues to use this platform to promote her own brand as well as her sister's clothing lines. So now we're going to talk about the origin of skims. As a mother of four, Kim understands the importance of comfort and practicality when it comes to clothing, but she also wants to make sure that her clients feel and look their absolute best. So Kim decided to create garments that combine both function and style. The skims brand focuses on providing customers with pieces that are comfortable yet stylish. The garments are designed to flatter and accentuate the body while also keeping it cool and dry with their breathable fabric. Furthermore, the garments come in a variety of cuts and sizes, so you can get the perfect fit for your body type. Kim was also passionate about ensuring that the Skims brand was accessible and affordable to all. She has made sure the she has made sure to price the garments competitively so that everyone has an opportunity to experience her fashionable pieces. In addition, she has also implemented a give back program that supports women in need and helps provide job opportunities. Okay, so now we're going to talk about basically the controversy, the tea, the reason why you're here. 
The brand is meant to be a solution to women's body issues, but with prices ranging as high as $98 for a single shade wear top, many people have been calling out the brand for what some deem to be exploitative marketing tactics. Many people are concerned that scams is targeting women who have low self-esteem and body image issues, which are often connected to economic inequality and using them to make money. There has also been criticism of the fact that the shade wear comes in nude shades that don't match many people who have darker skin tones. The company's one-size-fits-all approach has also been met with criticism, as some believe scams is denying customers the opportunity to make choices about what product they want to buy. Critics argue that the fact that can scams is so expensive means that many people simply cannot afford it, regardless of their size or shape. While the company has responded to some of these criticisms by lowering prices and introducing more skin tones, there are still people who are unhappy with Skim's approach and feel like the company isn't doing enough to address issues such as economic inequality. It remains to be seen whether or not Skims will be able to reconcile its brand with its critics or if it will continue to face controversy in the years ahead. No matter what happens, it's clear that this brand has stirred up a great deal of discussion and debate around issues such as body image and economic inequality, and it's definitely something which should be taken seriously. As opinions and perspectives on this brand vary, it remains important to remember that the brand itself is a business and has to be profitable, and many of the criticism and debates must be weighed against this fact. It's important to consider all aspects of the company before making a judgment based on emotions and values. I Kim Kardashian Skims brand is revolutionizing the fashion industry with this combination of function and style. With its breathable fabric, flattering cuts, and competitive pricing, there's no doubt that Kim's passion for fashion and philanthropy has helped to create an incredible product. As a leader in the industry, she constantly looks for new and innovative ways to broaden her creative range, from her signature line of vegan shoes to her collaboration with a charity to manufacture clothes for those in need. Overall, Kim has demonstrated that she's an inspiring entrepreneur who is passionate about making a positive impact in the world through fashion, known for her style and glamour. Kim is a global superstar who has been described as a social media mogul due to her massive reach across various platforms. From television to makeup to philanthropy to business, Kim has continually leveraged her reach and success to inspire others to her success and value she holds dear. Okay, so that was my take on Skims and Kim Kardashian. And together, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me, learned a thing or two, turn on your post notifications, subscribe to me, comment down below something that you love, and give this video a big thumbs up. See you on my next video.